have a 20 year old son and he's had a very difficult couple of years trying to do college. He's funny, he's an artist, he thinks outside the box. I love being around him. And I feel like I'm supposed to be pushing him out and, you know, friend, therapist friends use words like launching, you know, he, I'm supposed to be launching him like a ship and, and, <laughs> and he, he doesn't want to grow up very much. He doesn't see much point in it. He knows he wants to be a, an, a comic artist and he's very talented, but I feel very torn between giving him space to find his own path versus I'm supposed to be a certain kind of parent who somehow launches him. <laughs> What's your question? My question is where, um, where the gut feeling and intuition about that, how to balance that with um, the logic and uh, mind saying there are certain jobs you have as his mother, kind of, that I'm supposed to be. Well, I think what would be interesting for you to do is to make a timeline. He's 20 now, like a timeline, 21, 22, he's still at home. 23, he's still at home. 24, he's still at home. 25, still at home. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, still living with you. I don't want that. <laughs> oh, exactly. I'd be glad if he left now. There you go. I mean, I would be happy if he left because he was doing something that made him happy, and then I could have, you know, men over and not worry about him being in the other room. <laughs> Good point. Good point. Um, where does the, the question is where does intuition come in? Um, You love your son very much. You know, she really, really loves this son. And this son doesn't want to grow up. Can he come see you? <laughs> <laughs> you want me to help him grow up? <laughs> I couldn't help him grow up, but you know what I would tell him? I would tell him to get a job. Oh, he's looking for a job. Well, good. He should get one. Yeah. <laughs> And then he's got to save his money and move out, period. So I have to balance my own rescue part of me with, with um, feeling, um, empowering him, like where the balance is between empowering him to get out and wanting to rescue, I guess. Yes, yes. Well, it's not about you empowering him. It's about him empowering himself. And as long as you're trying to do it for him, it puts him in a you know, down here position, a weak position. And you may be making him weak in a way that you're not aware of. I think you have to feel his competence. And he may have a hard time. And you have to tolerate that. You let him have a hard time and get strong. I think it would be very good for him. So if he came to me, that's what I would help him with. I wouldn't even put him in therapy. I would just help him get a job, you know, tell him to get a job. That's the best therapy that he could um, have, and then you have to tolerate his struggle.